first of all, what you need to do it is to insert shapes. And the best one that we're gonna use today, it is the ellipses. For now, let's keep these ellipses in white. And I will add here, just as preview, one stroke to it. Pay attention to this because this will change completely the way that you understand the paths here. In that case, I'm going to start to add an ellipse here in this area. Good. After that, I will duplicate this to another side. I will add one here. I will add another here. And another right here. As you see, I'm just duplicating the shapes. After that, let me add a width so you can see what's gonna happen. I'm going to duplicate this into here. There we go. Well, as you can see, we have a lot of layers going on here below. And that's why I wanna show you the compound path. The compound path will allow you to do this. First, I need to select the shapes that I want to apply the compound path. These shapes are selected, as you can see. What I want to do is click here on top, hold add, and then Affinity will make all those layers as a one single layer. However, this one single layer contains all the ellipses that we made it. Remember that we have here these ellipses. Okay, I'm gonna move this on top of it, this layer, and then I will swipe left and I will hit here subtract. Let me explain to you what just happened. Affinity here in this compound path, by standard add this everything as add, and it creates a non-destructible object that basically creates a simulation of adding, which is good. In that case, I can, for example, have this ellipse that's here, and it is subtracting the layers below. As you can see, let's say that you are having this. Also, you want to for example, if you want to convert this to path, you can still change this as a vector, just like that. Can you see the results happening? This is fantastic because you can change the shape and kind of add an auto subtract. Also, if you want, you can add more shapes. For example, I'm gonna add a lips right here. I'm gonna add more ellipses, just like this. Remember that these ellipses are going to be merged with the add option turned on. If I, for example, do this, well, separate, it's going to be separated just like that, creating this kind of result that intersects. And another that is going to be another side here, maybe something like that. Here we go. As you see, we are using the subtract in order to you know have this res result also you can use the pencil tool to create some shapes let me uh, show you how this will perform let's say that you want to create a shape like that let me create here for now this area and then i'll hit the subtract the subtract as you see it's going to subtract that area that i just created this is good because you can create a non-destructible area Let's say that you add something like this, for example, just to show you. I've created this area and then I'll hit subtract. And then you can have this nice result here, as you see. Let's add to another side. I'll create this shape, just like that, and then swipe left and then subtract. As you see, Affinity basically uh, subtract this one because it is uh, you know above of others layers this is a fantastic result that you can experiment as well if you want in this situation that we are in this moment we can add let's say some shapes here to make this more uh, rounded for example here oh, can you see that it adds some kind of smokes or clouds effects to it Oh, I like this, it makes it very nice. And then here on the compound, I'm going to make sure to duplicate this just to have a backup. And then we're going to click here and we're going to convert this to curves. After that, now you can manage this curve 
as a one single path. Remember, getting back to compound, you can also change the color as one single object. Let's say that you want to keep something like that. Doesn't matter if you add any kind of shape, it's going to follow that color, which is fantastic. And we're gonna keep here with the curve because we can work with this one here for now. And then you can start to manage the shapes that you want to fix or improve it. Okay, so you have this option to make the compound if you want to have a uh, no ed edible, uh, if you want to uh, have an uh, edible shape, which is this one, or if you want to have a covered cup shape just like this one. 